Thank you. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here, and I just want to say that uh, I think New Jersey is clearly one of the states that's leading the way uh, with respect to, to putting athletic trainers uh, in, in the high schools, uh, and uh, they should be commended for that, the work that uh, those up here have done. The, it's amazing what the uh, Athletic Training Society of New Jersey has done to sort of uh, help um, push uh, for some of this legislation to, to, uh, to get in front and advocate in a way that uh, is promoting safety on the playing fields. And I'm envious. Uh, I'm speaking on Wednesday before our state legislators in, in North Carolina, and unfortunately, we're behind the curve. And I've made the statement, and I'm going to say it again on Wednesday to the group that I'll be meeting with, that it's irresponsible uh, for a board uh, of, of education to, to, to have contact sports at their, uh, within their high schools in the absence of a certified athletic trainer being employed at that school. And uh, I've had superintendents that have pointed their finger at me uh, over the past year and a half and I said, how can you make a comment like that? You're taking away an opportunity. And uh, I've said, no, that uh, we need to be responsible. We need to, the, the safety that uh, having a certified athletic trainer uh, at uh, those schools can, um, uh, can provide is more important than, in my opinion, providing, uh, you know, putting contact sports out there. And uh, the athletic trainer is the quarterback of the sports medicine team. And our, uh, the legislation, we're asking for a funded mandate, which I know uh, sounds uh, impossible perhaps with the economic climate uh, as what it is, but uh, we need the money. It's a $21 million request uh, in the state of North Carolina to put uh, uh, certified athletic trainers in all 381 public schools. But uh, like the certified athletic trainers here in New Jersey uh, are providing, it's uh, the quarterback of the team. Uh, they're putting in place the emergency action plans that are important for all uh, injuries, putting in place the concussion protocols, putting in place uh, the additional help that the senator mentioned uh, that could be necessary for covering practices uh, and games, and, um, and likewise running the pre-participation physical exam. And the fifth thing we're asking for uh, is that uh, the certified athletic trainer will actually approve who the school uh, approved physicians will be that will make return to play decisions following uh, concussion and, and other uh, catas potentially catastrophic uh, related injuries like that because uh, you'd be surprised uh, how many moms and dads who happen to have MD after their name uh, want to release their son or daughter back to participation and that's a conflict of interest and so uh, I'll stop there and just say uh, kudos to, to, to New Jersey because you're doing a great job so thank you.